Yo, hello my people, this is Zomek, and today we have another country. So I thought I've done Poland before, but no, I haven't done Poland. I've only reacted to their 2022 song. I love that song, it was one of my favorites from last year, just like Ukraine. And I love Portugal song. And I think these were my top three. Yeah, yeah, Ukraine, Poland, and... And Portugal, yeah. Those three were my favorite from the last year. Um, yeah, so we started Eurovision 94. So many countries started Eurovision in 94, including my country, Lithuania. Um, and yeah, we've been in 20-something Eurovision, so we barely skipped any. I feel like we maybe skipped a few in the 90s, like my country did, and that's it. That's my guess, I don't know. Um, any memorable songs? I remember when where it was women making butter or cheese or something and that song was like the most sexual song of Eurovision, at least from that year. And that's it. Yeah. I don't know. Poland, I feel like they're somewhere in the middle, you know, if you average score on how well we do every year I feel like we're somewhere in the middle but we'll see I especially want to see how how they've done it in the 90s yeah enough talking let's go Poland I like Poland I lived in Poland for a month and a half good time paid girls um, good people nice capital city Edita Gorniak I'm 116 Polish so Wait, on debut, second place? I respect that. And it's definitely a good song. You know, personally, for me. Justyna. Sama. It's interesting, because it feels like something that we could have sent back in the 90s, but obviously we were too bad back then. Okay. Kasia Kowalska. Cool. I don't know, it was okay. Anna Maria Jope. But those other songs don't come close to the first song. How that one was so special? Sixteen, Totaki Proste. I feel like it's 90s classic Eurovision song. Like they just they just sticked to the formula of what other they were doing. Mietek Shesnak, that's a hard name. Wait, that's the first male? Poland was different. Nope, first song was still the best, definitely. Piasek, too long. Is that dog on the left? Is that dog sleeping on the floor? It's the most fun pull on the head as of right now, but not the best song, not even close. Ich Troje. Keine Grenzen? Isn't that like German?
Isn't that wasn't that German? Blue cafe. What is she doing? Love song. I feel like I'm in Hawaii or you know somewhere hot on some island. Ivan and Delphin, Charna Djevchina. Djevchina. <laughs> this one's interesting. No, that's different. Ich Troja is back, but with real McCoy, I feel like I've heard that name before. Wait, maybe he was <laughs> in Poland before. He competed for Poland. Yeah, Poland is... Poland started to bring their own type of sound. And they don't qualify. The Jet Set. And Poland started doing sexy stuff. <laughs> and they stopped qualifying too. Ice Isis G or Isis G? I don't know. I don't know. There is no songs, well, only few songs where I was really hooked. Lydia Kopania. There is nothing that will hook me. There is no songs where I was like, oh, I love the song. There haven't been a song like that yet. And I feel like every country had at least one like that for me. Well, 2022 Poland song has that, so... Maritzin Morozinski. Legendo. Like, this is pretty good, but it's not something special. It's not memorable. Magdalena Tull, yes, them. Okay. Definitely not the worst song I've heard today. Yeah, okay, this one's okay for me. And it was worst song of the year in Eurovision. Donatan and Cleo. Miss Slovenia. I yep, that's the song that I was talking about. They got, they got 14th place. Somebody voted for it. People liked it, I guess. I wonder how much that girl got paid who was washing clothes and showing a lot of stuff there. Monica Kuszynska. I'm actually disappointed in Poland. They debuted with second place. And it just went downhill from there. Well, but they're qualifying again. Michal Spak. This one's pretty good. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I remember, yep. Poland started at the top and they went downhill right to the bottom, but they climbed back from 14 to 16. Cassia Moss. Now that's a song I won't remember.
I never heard Poland 2020 song, so it's gonna be interesting. Gromi and Lucas Mayer. This doesn't sound like a right song for Eurovision. I mean, it gets you moving when it gets to the beat drop, but it's not Eurovision type of song. Tulia, Fire of Love. They barely didn't qualify. I love these type of songs where it's like they bring their own style, you know, it's something very different, it's like a folk song and stuff like that. But this one's okay at best. Okay. She has a nice voice, I like her voice. The song itself is definitely not bad, especially her voice. But when they brought Rafal, this was not good. It was fun also, it was again fun, but when you hear a song like this, you know it's not gonna go to final. But, but the next song about this is amazing. I just love that song so much. Oh, man, it's an amazing song, I love it. And it got only 12th place. I love the song so much. My top 3 from this year. I really hope that, they, that he would win. He didn't. Yep, my favorite Poland song of all time. We had like 5 songs that got higher positions than this one, but this song, this song is amazing. I just. I could listen and listen to this song just like to Portugal song Sodade. This and that and this too. I love Stefania and I'm happy that it won. It was one of my favorites, but I can listen to it from time to time. You know, I got bored after some time. I'm sorry. But like this and Sodade, I just never get tired. It's just so beautiful to my ears. So yeah, Poland. I'm disappointed. I expected a bit better. But, overall, they still did better than my country. I would really like to see average. Like, which position Poland got on average, and which position my country got. I mean, their best performance got them second place. My country, best position we had was sixth place, so... But, you know, I feel like we, we would have similar average, I feel. But still, I'm disappointed in Poland, but since they have one of my favorite songs of the year, all forgiven. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. We have many countries left, and all of the countries that left, I think they have at least 27 entries, so, you know, video is gonna get longer, uh, this Eurovision video, so, keep watching, and... I think first songs for 2023 we're gonna get in December, because that's how it was last year. Maybe I feel like we got that intelligent sound project or whatever it was called in November. That was, in my opinion, worst song from <laughs> this year's Eurovision. But we got it in November, so that would mean only f three months left. Not that much. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and guys, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.